guys, it's Heather from Calva Plan. I'm here today planning in my classic daily planner. This is my catch-all planner where pretty much if it's important, it goes in this planner. Um, and I'm, today I'm going to be planning for the very first week in February, which is really exciting. I can't believe that we're already moving on to February in these planners. That's just crazy. So this is the Botanical Gardens Happy Planner. Um, and it's just so beautiful on the inside. I love it so much. So this is the first weekly spread inside of February in this planner. Um, so it's a new color scheme, which is exciting, um, and a, a new month. So I'm just really excited to get started with this week. So I'll be planning January 30th through January 5th. I mean, February 5th. Oh, that's so crazy in this planner. Um, if you've never seen any of my plan with me videos before, then I always take the pages off of the disc because with the happy planner that's um, one of the great things about the disc bound system sorry I have stickers on my desk that I'm peeling up right now um, that's one of the great things about the disc bound system is that you can pull them off and so it makes it easier to decorate easier to write it's just the thing I love the most about the disc bound system um, so that's why they're off the pages what I'm doing today is a little different than what I normally do um, I have tons and tons of sticker books from Mambi I have Mambi has 18 value pack of stickers. I have all 18. I even have backups of probably um, half of them because I'm a sticker hoarder and I just buy backups. So I have tons and tons of stickers and usually in my planner I use um, multiple sticker packs in one week. But this sticker pack, I haven't really used much of this one at all. This is the watercolor sticker pack. And I just haven't really dug into this one. This one hasn't gotten a lot of love from me, but I was flipping through it this week and I thought, this sticker back is gorgeous. It's so pretty. Um, and I was really surprised that I hadn't used it more. So this week I'm kind of challenging myself to use this sticker book on this spread. Um, that doesn't mean I'm not gonna use other sticker books, but I'm not gonna go to my other sticker books until I'm positive that I've used as much as I can out of this one. And who knows, maybe I will only end up using this one. We'll have to see how it turns out. So, um, this is a new color scheme. What I usually do when I start planning, look at these. Sorry, they got tangled up. Um, is I look at the colors that are present on the page and then I um, plan based off of the colors that are already there and I coordinate with those colors. So since this is a new month, this is the first time that I've, I'm gonna be using these colors. And so we have a light pink here in the dates, a darker pink here on the days of the week, and then this really pale, it's almost a peach color, um, and then these green leaves here on the bottom. And most of these colors go pretty well with this watercolor sticker book. So I'm just kind of flipping through now just to kind of, um, get in my head the different colors that are available, the different stickers that are available in this sticker book, because I really want to try and stick um, to this sticker book. So I have a lot of things going on this week that I'm going to be planning for. Um, it's my niece's first birthday on the 31st. Her birthday party is um, the weekend. My dad and stepmom are flying in for the party. Um, there's just a lot of different things going on. So, I want to be sure to plan really well. So, again, I'm just kind of flipping through, looking at what all is available. All right, so for starters, I'm gonna take this double box right here. Um, this is a pink sticker and it's these big ones are for two boxes. So instead of just filling up one box, you fill up two. I like these because um, it's you can journal, you can put to-do lists, and I like it because it matches these pinks up here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to lay this down here at the bottom of my weekend. Just like that. Um, I did that because I think that it will be a good spot to um, make a to-do list um, or something like that. Um, the next thing that I'm gonna do is if you've ever seen me plan, then you'll know that I always put a to-do list over here. I like to put my weekly to-dos and then um, these are the things that are most important to get done this week. And then um, 
as the week goes on, I'll put those on the days um, that they'll actually get done. So I'm here and I think I'm actually going to pull off this peach colored one because it matches the peach on the spread. So I'm going to put this over here. One thing that kind of bothers me about um, these check marks um, is that the dots don't line up with the lines, which I know that these are really sized for these boxes and that's why they don't line up, but I really wish that they did line up because I hate that on my to-do list, I can't really write on the line because I don't want it. Anyway, I'm ranting right now, but just a random side note, if anyone's listening about why um, that kind of gets on my nerves. Okay, so now I'm looking for a header to put at the top of that checklist. I think I want to tie in some green. This isn't the same green as this one down here, but it is green. And so I, it will tie at least a little bit of green in. Um, I kind of want to um, layer in just some layering. I love to layer stickers. So this one says this week. Um, so I'm actually gonna peel that up. Again, if you've seen any of my videos, you know I love to peel up stickers and really stick them. So it says this week, reminder, and then I'll write my reminders. Now, another thing I always do, and I, I really like to start my planning with the things that I always do, because it's just, it's it's a good place to start. Um, so I'm looking for a, a quote sticker. I always put a sticker down here um, that kind of motivates me, I guess, through the week. Something um, that will push me through the week. So I'm looking here. I really like this one, but I'm trying to decide. Oh, I'm going to do this one. Success is not for the lazy. I love these clear stickers because when you stick them down, it just looks like you wrote it on the page. And I wish my handwriting was this amazing, so it's kind of fun to just pretend. Like, oh, yeah, I wrote that. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't write it. And you guys know the truth. So I really like this um, header bar right here. Um, it's the same peach color, but it's got some polka dots, so that's kind of fun um, just to layer right there. Um, so Tuesday is my niece's first birthday, which she's not my only niece. I have um, another niece and then I have two nephews as well, but she is um, my twin sister's niece, uh, my twin sister's daughter. So it's kind of a special birthday. So I'm going to take this pink one. Um, I'm going to layer it Sometimes I put them straight in the box. Sometimes I like to do a little fun layering. I think I'm gonna do a little fun layering um, where it kind of goes off the box a little bit. And I know I said I wasn't gonna go to the other sticker books, but the watercolor doesn't have the birthday sticker. So I am gonna go to grab um, the black, you know, the stickers that say birthday. Um, but I, okay, I'm going to leave that because it says today and it is her birthday on that day. So I'm going to put this down where it says birthday. Um, and then I'm going to take the pink, um, cake sticker, um, I'm actually gonna see if I can peel this back up a little bit. No, don't tear, please don't tear. Please stick it, don't tear. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm a terrible singer. So I'm gonna lay the birthday cake down and it did tear a little bit, but you can't really tell. And I know it's kind of hard to see that cake, but I like it, so I'm gonna leave it. Okay, 
I'm gonna stick those back. Again, I'm, I'm gonna stick mostly with this watercolor book, but I'm gonna grow now. I have the alphabet and I'm going to go grab a number one. I can't believe she's already one. Like, the year flew by. I remember um, when she was born. Story time, uh, when she was born, my twin sister was living down near Houston, which she lives here in DFW now, but a year ago she was living down near Houston. And I still remember like it was yesterday when I got the phone call that she was in labor and I had to, it was like three o'clock in the morning, two o'clock in the morning, it was really early. And I had to f get in my car and fly down there. And it was so exciting. I didn't think I was gonna make it in time, um, but I did and it was the craziest day of my life. Um, and this past year has just been so much fun seeing her grow up. Again, I have, um, two other nephews and a niece. My nephews live in Austin and my other niece lives in um, Massachusetts. So it's just, my other niece is just um, so far away that I really don't get to see her that much. And my nephews, you know, I love them. They're my, I mean, they're my favorite kids in the whole world, but there's just something about your niece, um, especially when it's your twin sister's little girl. So I'm really, really excited to celebrate her birthday on on Tuesday and um, on the weekend when I throw her birthday party. Um, I mean, me and her mom are throwing her birthday party together, but it's at my house. So, um, with that being said, I have tons of stuff to do this weekend or this week to prep for that. Anyway, back to planning. Um, I am flipping through this watercolor book. I don't even know if y'all can see me flipping through it. There are some banners. I know there are because I've seen them. There they are. Um, so I was gonna peel some of these off and kind of put them here as like a little fun accent on Madeline's birthday. Okay, I was gonna try and pull that up, but I don't think I can. I think it's just going to have to be the way it is. Anyway, that, this banner is just another fun way to tie in the colors that I'm using um, and to use more of these stickers. Because if you didn't know, one of my goals is to use more stickers. I don't want to hoard the stickers. So I'm putting this one here because if you notice, this was a little too short. Um, so that just kind of covers that up so that no one even knows. Okay, so now I'm kind of at the point of my planning when I really have to think about things that are going on in the week so that um, I plan like accordingly. So, for example, on Friday, my dad and my stepmom are flying into town. So that night, We'll probably get dinner with them and with my sister and her family. So I put this green box here because I really want to tie some of this green over onto this page. And then this sticker says family time. And so I'm going to stick that right there. And I'm going to grab one of these little hearts. I really like to use these hearts as bullet points. And I'm going to put that right there. And this will just be a box where um, I write our dinner plans. And as you can see, I kind of went over the line a little bit. I really like the look of layering and of um, not being completely centered. I think it just brings a fun dimension to your planner. So you'll probably see me do that pretty often. Okay, so on Wednesday, I feel like I'm going to be doing the final... Um, checklist of things that me and my sister need to make or buy for the party on Saturday. So I'm going to stick this checklist. I'm actually trying to center it up, which is actually, sometimes it's easier if you do do the catty corner like I did up here because then you don't have to worry about it being perfectly straight. But this one has to be pretty straight. Okay, so that's going to be like a, the final checklist. Um, 
I'm gonna take this sticker that says Weekend Adventure in Gold, and I'm actually gonna stick it right here in this white space. So it says Weekend Adventure, and then I can kind of write about the weekend um, that we had. And then I wanna tie in some more of this Now that I look at it, I haven't really used any of that blue, have have I? I've used green, but not the blue. So I'm just gonna stick that um, back in the sticker book. Maybe I'll use it later. Um, okay, so my dad and my stepmom fly in on Friday. So I'm here on this flight page and I'm trying to decide if I want to put a flight sticker that has their information for their flight on it or if I just want to put um, I think I'm gonna do the flight sticker just because when I'm at work it will be nice to be able to open this up and I think I am gonna tie in the blue here so again I'm gonna line this one up straight I don't normally I really like to catty corner but since this is kind of specific to Friday, I am gonna line that up. And now that I've added in some blue, oh, that's still not the same blue though, see? I was hoping that would help me tie this in, but it doesn't. So, since it actually is just a random blue, I'm gonna pull that up, and then I'm gonna take it, and I'm gonna try and stick it back in this book to use later, because these airline stickers, you only get so many, so I don't really wanna waste them. Okay, so now that I've put that, I'm actually gonna pull out um, the pink one. And I'm gonna put it here because I'm already using pink, so I think that ties in a little bit better than the blue one. Okay, so again, that's not a fly for me. It's for my dad and my stepmom, but I have to pick them up from the airport. So um, it'll be a nice little reminder to, you know, to go pick them up. So I'm just flipping through here now um, trying to see if there's any other stickers um, that are just sticking out to me. I feel like the last, nope. Sorry, random noises, my bad. Oh, there's, these are the banner stickers that I think I had in mind when I was doing this banner. Now I'm trying to decide because I kind of like these better. The reason I like these better is just because they don't have that heart in them. Um, yeah, I'm going to be really bad and I'm going to pull these up. And I'm not even going to try and save them. I'm just going to pull them up. Sometimes you just waste stickers, right? I just really like these better. Um, so, and I think I'm actually gonna put them on this side. You know, sometimes you change your mind and that's okay. Okay, so I don't want this one, if you can tell what I'm trying to do, it's overlapping on the today, so I'm actually gonna cut it a little shorter and just have it be a shorter little banner. And then I'm gonna take this pink one and it can go back to being long. Okay, I actually like that a lot better, so I'm really glad I made that decision. Okay. so. I'm honestly, I kind of feel like I'm um, struggling a little bit with this layout. I don't know if it's because um, there's just so many stickers in here and I'm like, oh, what do I do? Um, I think I want some more box stickers like this. So, this is what I'm gonna do. Let's go look and see what color boxes. I love these boxes that you can write on, but they add um, a fun dimension.
Okay, so I have pink, green, teal, this teal color, and this peach. I think I'm gonna try and tie in this peach. Um, I'm sorry, I'm thinking a lot this week about exactly what I want to lay down. Part of the problem is probably that I'm not super familiar with this sticker book. Um, I just haven't used it as much as I've used the other ones. Okay, I like this one because it's a little bit smaller. I am gonna kind of catty corner that a little bit. I'm gonna take this one, it's the same kind of color, and I'm gonna layer it on top. And I'm gonna put two, four, 17. Then I'm gonna add, to tie in some more of this green. I feel like I need this green to show up in a few other places. I'm gonna put a heart, and then I can write Maddie's party is on this day. Okay. Um, okay, so. I'm kind of flipping through now, just trying to see. I feel like this book has a lot of box stickers, which I don't want to put too many boxes because I already feel like I have this box and this box and this, and I just don't want it to be too boxy. So I'm trying to see if there's anything else I could use. Um, so like here, I kind of want to tie in some more green. So I'm going to put this today sticker and then I'm gonna go back to these icons right here. And I'm just gonna add, um, I think I'm gonna do green, because I really feel like I need some more green on this page. So, I'm gonna put that there. And put that there. Um, over here is when my dad and stepmom fly back home. They live in Alabama. So here I'm gonna put, um, actually I'm gonna put it, sorry, indecisive. Um, sorry, sometimes it's hard to get these little asterisk signs out. So I'm gonna put one here because we'll go to church Sunday morning before they leave. And then I'm gonna put one here so that I can notate when they, need to be back at the airport, which I'll have to look that up. I don't even, I have it in my planner, but I don't know it off the top of my head. Okay, so here is gonna be kind of my week in to-do list, things I need to do, which since I have my sister's, my sister's daughter's party on Saturday, um, I'll probably be doing most of my to-do list on Sunday. Um, okay. This one says it's green and it says family weekend. This is the one I've been looking for because I want to put it up here at the top. Um, but it's a little short. So, okay, I'm going to take this one. It says hoorah. And then I'm going to put family weekend. Um, my older brother will be in town with his family for the party. My dad and stepmom will be in town for the party. Um, my little brother isn't gonna be able to make it because he lives in Massachusetts with his family. That's just kind of a longer trip. So we won't all be together this weekend, um, but more of us will be together than normal. So that's really exciting. So hurrah, family weekend. Ah, I love it. Don't you love when um, it just works out? Okay. So I'm gonna take um, this sticker that says, I really hope this is centered on the camera. If it's not, I apologize. So this one says shopping. So I'm gonna add this here um, just to notate that this is my shopping list um, to finish up for the party. Um, Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna be flipping through looking for final stickers. So um, this, 
I really wish that these were cut like a banner at the bottom. I don't really know why they're not. Um, so I'm gonna cut it myself to be like a banner. And I'm gonna stick that right here for Thursday to do's. I also kind of want to put this reminder sticker on top of this flight. Um, just as a reminder that I need to go pick up my dad after work. Um, Okie dokie. So I'm now just looking to see final stickers to add. Um, if you've never seen me plan before, you may wonder like, how do you know that you need a checklist here? And how do you know that you need these bullet points here? Um, that's just kind of the way I plan. Um, um, I just like put things with a, on a bullet point. Um, so I never really like get nervous about just sticking those down because I know that somehow I'm gonna use them. Okay, so what I'm doing now is I'm just kind of looking for final stickers to use. Um, I'm gonna put a peach one here, tie in some more of that peach color. I'm gonna put a peach peach one here. Um, I kind of think life takes time. Mm, that doesn't look as cute as I thought it was going to look. Okay, so the last thing I need to do is my weekend checklist. So I'm trying to decide if I want to do it with those asterisks or with the checklist or if I want to mix it up even more. That's too many boxes, isn't it? I'll put that there. What if... I'm gonna stick that back in my book. I think it's just too many boxes. I really like it, um, but it's just too many boxes. So um, I'm going to, give me two seconds, I'm gonna grab a marker. I'm going to take this pink marker and I'm gonna go ahead and write the word errands. I don't normally do this, but I feel like this box kind of needs it. And plus, why not change it up a little bit? And if I hate it, you know what you do when you hate something in your planner? You cover it up with a sticker. But hopefully I won't hate it. Okay, so a lot of people ask me about my lettering and they want me to make lettering videos. Um, honestly, I. I don't know if I ever will. I just don't really know if I'm um, talented enough at lettering to teach other people how to letter. Um, one thing I do do though is I practice pretty often and when I see a font or a handwriting that I like, I just look at it and um, I practice it until, you know, I have it down. So maybe someday I'll do a lettering um, video, but I'm sure that someone will ask after seeing me write those letters. So that's why I just thought I'd go ahead and put that out there. Um, I'm considering it, but I don't really know yet. So if I do though, you guys will be the first to know. 
Okay, I'm almost done. I feel like I wanna put like a quote here. I don't normally do that because I'm a very functional planner and I don't like to give up um, valuable functional space, but I kind of feel like it just needs a quote right here. But I really want one kind of like this where it was see-through. Oh my goodness, I just ripped that page out. Oh. Um, but I also don't want it like to be skinny. I don't, here, perfect. I knew that Mandy wouldn't let me down. They'd have a sticker for me. Don't let me down, Mandy. Oh no, dear. Oh no, I just ripped that up. I might cry. I'm sorry, planner. Oh gosh. I don't know if y'all can see that, but I ripped this up. Okay, so what I did to fix it was I just ran it on this sticky and then I stuck it down. Hmm. That didn't really turn out like I had hoped. Okay, I think I'm gonna call it quits. This is definitely not my favorite spread ever. Um, I think it was a little challenging for me to stick with just the watercolor book. Um, and while I love the watercolor book, it's almost like these colors aren't really me or something. Um, but you know, you win some, you lose some, some are great, some aren't. Maybe I can save this one with my pen. Um, but for now, this is my plan with me for January 30th through February 5th. If you want to see what it looks like after the pen, I'll post the midweek spread on Wednesday and I'll post the full week spread on, uh, usually Saturday, depends on how crazy my weekend is with my family in town, but sometime in, on the weekend I'll post the completed spread. Uh, my husband says that I need to add in to my videos um, about if you like what you see, uh, hit the like button. And if you want to see more, be sure to subscribe. So I guess I'll steal his little saying and throw that in there. Um, thanks for watching and happy planning.